Hey guys, here playing NBN Making News, and this is a deck using the Reshutter Data Pool along with the new Arya Bot attack. I think I pronounced it right, I don't know. And the idea is to get a 5 3 out and ideally use your NBN credits to trace them every turn with that. Lots of good times, but it's a little bit fragile, a little bit janky. You're kind of hoping that you can put a data pull out really fast, and that's not always true. The other options you can sometimes exchange for it later in the game. But that kind of requires sneaking out of breaking news, so there's a lot of ways it can go wrong, I'd say. So we're gonna kind of just push this and hope it goes. He's on six creds, he's got a lot of money, but he doesn't have any breakers, so it's a good chance this will actually go through. If he hits Caduceus with no breakers, we can do our trace to trace him out with the NBN credits. So this actually can surprisingly work sometimes against a deck of a slower start. We might lose a bunch of points in this indexing, but with the five threes, you have kind of more variance that way. Sometimes you'll lose them really early and you'll just die instantly. Other games, they'll miss a whole bunch of times, so we'll be really happy. So the game is now on with him whiffing his indexing. And on top of that, we're going to start tracing him all the time. So we, these cards are pretty sweet. I think I'm going to actually pitch the data pool. If he runs archives for it, uh, whatever, we'll, tr we'll probably be able to exchange it shortly. Hyperdriver Proco, very nice. Well, let's... Uh... So we can now sap his credits every turn with the data pool. And resistor, probably R&D. I don't think either ice really keeps him out for long. So the reason that this is such an important opportunity to play is that you can actually spend the NBA and credits on your own terms. Most of the trouble that happens with this ID is you end up having your two credits on your ID that are just sitting there and you can't use them because they won't run. If they do run, they won't, um, they'll break your ice, you can't fire your ice as traces. So there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Uh, I think we're going to run this. But once you have this scored, you can consistently, on your own terms, spend your ambient credits to get good stuff to happen. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to put a third ice on this. We're probably not right. Probably have to ice R&D in case he's another indexing. He had a ton of money off the bat. Okay, he knows what it is. Uh, resist and make him pay three to pop. I think we do. That's still a, an okay tax for four dollar ice. So he needs to steal breaking news here so we don't get it instead. Did it with again. That's awesome. He's gonna get parasite our archangel. Everything gets parasited. So sad. So despite him paying three a pop, I don't think we can keep our Archangel alive here. I guess that's kind of whatever right now. Yeah, we'll let him do his thing again. Or maybe he'll save the Parasite for a more exciting ice. Like he can try to kill this Aryabata, which hasn't done anything yet.
Sadly, he can probably just keep up with us in money. Runners are insanely rich these days. I'd say way more than corpse are. It's kind of weird from a balance standpoint, or a thematic standpoint, I guess you'd say. Remember we used to play Armitage co-busting? We used to like it. <laughs> and now it's like, if you're not getting three bucks a click, you're kind of womp womping. So this booth is not very exciting for us. Um, it's gonna die to Parasite, no matter where we put it. And that's an issue. Don't think we have a CVS in here. Yeah, we don't have any CVS in here. Okay, let's see if he wants to get a trace here, or if he's gonna search a breaker. Actually, he can't, so he may get a tag here. So we've actually got a dollar off Aryabata. Good for us. And he lost a dollar. I like it. This will probably Parasite, which will keep Archangel alive for the time being. Yeah. Truly the best of Icebreakers. This was a pretty good trade for us. Oh, he's got more money. Do we want to spend our archive just on getting money? Don't know the answer to that. Kind of. Hmm. Maybe you should have put Jackson down last turn behind the Gutenberg. I think that's a little better. Even the star R&D might have been better. I was thinking a little bit too far ahead of like purging his suckers. So we didn't lose any more ice, but it looks like he's gonna get an agenda here. Yeah. Well, it could be worse. I guess better wait than never, right? One of the awkward thing in this deck is you don't have any uh, sand sand city grids or astros, so your scoring out plan is actually terrible. You're really hoping to get the mid season to go off, or to get a solid exchange. Otherwise, you're kind of just sitting around. So we can play manhunt now. I don't know it's that great. You having a link also makes this a lot harder. If you didn't have any link right now, we'd be quite pleased with ourselves. Uh, the manhunt, I think, is a little too expensive. He's only gonna have to pay one. If we happen to have like our Aribata sticking, it would be better. Can we afford to do this? I think we can. I want to stop his suckers. He loses three bucks, we're, which we're going to get closer to being able to tag him with the data pool. He took a tag. Oh, baby. Well, that's good. Nail them on closed accounts then. And that means what now? Get another tag. So 
So we're going to start to get a good size resistor. We can archive close now if he tries to bounce up. Trash Proko next turn, most likely. Ooh. Get rid of the Proco. Now we're feeling pretty okay. Because we do have two Kitty in here, so he's going to start giving us points. If we had our Arya Bada up right now, we'd, we'd be getting money off of these traces, but we're not, we don't, so. Uh, that would have been nice earlier, we'll say the buck on the trash, but now it's probably useless. I think we need to just ice R&D. Make sure he doesn't get in for random lucky accesses. From that point, Things are looking good for us. Neuroboros is probably pretty good. Let's make a new remote, shall we? Yeah, this is like a score remote, and then we can play our sweeps. And then... We'll be at five if we do override this. I think we put Neuroboros the resistor's going to be good, though, later on. Let's give him more tag. I want to get the site graphics, <clears throat> excuse me, to become good. And I'm not sure what he can do at this point. He's going to start getting resistor bigger than the lady can deal with. Do we shuffle here? Maybe not, because now his David is out, and he's restoring this safely in archives. Well, that's the one he wanted to take. All right, another Arya Bada. That's good. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, keep my R&D. So there's seven points left in the R&D, but two of them are kitty. I'm kind of thinking he might give us a quantum kitty pretty soon. Yeah. Now we can exchange it for the three pointer, it'll be at six. So, yeah, at that point, once you start floating tags against this deck, it's messy. But the, the Kate matchup is pretty rough, usually. If they have Clot and they just check your remote consistently and they have the money to do so then you just lose like we're at, the deck is totally all in on getting this data pool into your score area or as long as you can pull it off by getting manhunt and spend your credits that way but it's definitely a data pool rush deck and you hope you can get a 5-3 on the table so it's kind of fun uh, it's hard to keep this alive if you can it's hard to get value from it but Certainly, once we had him on lock, we could be sapping him with this and actually, it's like click for a credit, gives him a tag. You know what I mean? Like, we'd be tracing him, he's losing a buck, and then we're getting a buck, he's getting a tag, lining up the psycho. The rest of our RD looks pretty good for us. There's another kitty, the psycho would come out, and two more breaking news. So, there's probably some more refinements that can be made to the deck. I'm not sure the ice is exactly right. 
Klimsha likes this Euroboros. I find it's really expensive. Like, we didn't really want to play it out here due to the cost of $6, but it is the right type. David doesn't beat it, so I, there's an argument to be made for this ice. This ice used to get played way back in the day. And really hasn't recently. NBN's gone towards, I guess, cheap ice as possible for the most part. Thanks for watching, guys.